Hey, it's Matthew Knowles. I'm here with Who Mag TV. Who Mag? Who Mag? Who Mag? Who Mag? Who is Matthew Knowles? I always say I'm a country boy. I grew up in Gaston, Alabama, a little small town, 30,000 people. Uh, dad was a truck driver, mom was a colored maid, uh, as they called them at the time. Uh, and my dad uh, convinced the owners to let him always have that truck. And he would go and tear down houses and sell the metals, the copper, the aluminum. Uh, he'd take that truck and he'd go buy your old car. Uh, and he'd sell every piece on, in that car. And my mother, uh, who made uh, $3 a day, and my dad, by the way, made $25 a week. Uh, my mom uh, would, on the weekend, sell quilts, uh, make them with her best girlfriends, and then sell them. So I learned entrepreneurship at a very, very early age. And I, I really uh, learned what determination uh, meant as well. So that's Matthew Knowles, Country Boy. Music World Entertainment is um, 24 years old. Next year will be our 25th uh, anniversary. Uh, I started that company, uh, took a bedroom in our home and uh, made it into an office. I uh, was very careful on picking a name uh, because I came from corporate America. We at Music World have always had the ethos uh, that we wanted to have only artists that were passionate. Uh, we understand that the music comes first. You have to have a great song. You can be Beyonce all day long, but if you have a whack song, it's a whack song by Beyonce. We've had some great artists. Uh, Shaka Khan and the London Symphony. Uh, Earth, Wind and Fire, Pull Pure Gold, we made their last record. OJ's Imagination, we made their last record. Cool in a Gang, made their last record. Uh, and Pop and uh, Beyonce and, and Solange, two albums by Solange, uh, and a number of other artists. We had the number one female artist, Leandra Johnson. Uh, Trinity 5-7 is the number one all-time selling trio in gospel. And we're very pleased to be able to say with Destiny Shaw, the number one selling female group in pop and R&B. And we are a management company, artist management company. Uh, and we manage everyone from Nas. Uh, Nas' only number one record, we, we managed Nas. I got him to understand what it means to get out of the bed and go and promote your record. Uh, and he did a great job of that. At that time, I had partnered with Sanctuary and I was president of Music World Sanctuary. Uh, we were the urban division, uh, record label and management. Uh, and again, I uh, lived in New York then and Houston and um, everybody was knocking on my door everybody and these guys came and uh, we had a great conversation uh, I really liked their style I loved them from the, the, the day uh, so hey I was excited about these guys and uh, I remember uh, going down to Miami with their first vid video shopping bags was the first single I can still hear that in my head uh, and those guys were a lot of fun to work with the challenges that we had in the early stages with Destiny's Child is uh, the girls were young. Uh, we have to remember, it started with girls' time. I believe Beyonce was 12 years old then. Um, and then they lost on Star Search. And that evolution went to them being signed by Daryl Simmons, who's partner of L.A. Reid and Babyface, the, then there in Atlanta. Um, and they became the Dolls. Uh, and then they got dropped by Electra Records. Uh, and then we had to change the name again to something fresh uh, and then the name became Destiny but the good thing that happened because these girls were too young had they gotten a record deal that young it wouldn't have worked because they was just they would have been the little girls you never want that attached to your your name but we always had that uh, one-two punch with Beyonce and Kelly uh, which was the nucleus of the group and that never changed. And that only grew and grew, and we know now it's history. I teach at Texas Southern University, and, and, and I teach uh, late. My class ends at 5, uh, ends at 8 o'clock. And so my office is about 
seven minutes away, and I thought I'll stop, see what was going on. Uh, some folks were giving us already showcased, uh, and I came inside and uh, heard these three ladies. They were singing and rapping. Uh, they were okay, and and one gal was a great great vocalist, and the other one was a great rapper, and the other young lady was kind of in the middle between rapping and singing. Uh, and I gave him a challenge. I said, look, we have Destiny's Child. We don't want or need another Destiny's Child. We need something new. Again, thinking outside of the box. Uh, and so I saw their commitment. Uh, I love their energy. I, I love the fact that they were just good people also. And I love their passion. And so I signed them on the spot. First, we have to uh, get the image down correctly. Uh, and make sure that we have the right music with the right image. Uh, branding is a key thing, and branding is simply getting your name uh, and your face associated in associations with another product also. Uh, so branding is, becomes extremely critical. I have secrets for branding. I choose not to give my secrets out uh, on branding. Uh, but as you know, we've done a lot of branding and endorsements uh, with Destiny's Child and Beyonce and hope to do the same with Blush Music. Top three things that every entrepreneur should know uh, is first, you have to know your customer. Knowing your customer is critical. A lot of folks go out of business because they didn't define their customer. Uh, the second thing is you have to know your product and, and know it extremely well. And, and, and make sure that you have the right product for your customer. Some people have a wrong product for their customer because they didn't, again, know their customer. And then I think marketing becomes extremely, extremely critical. Uh, those would be the top three. I think if there was a fourth, I would add just financial responsibility, uh, knowing a profit and loss statement, knowing uh, how to build relationships uh, with banks and investors. My favorite memory of, uh, of working with Nas is just overall seeing him get to work and, and, and do his job. Uh, that's, those are favorite memories. I, I like memorizing. I enjoyed when he would go to MTV and BET and, and do the things that's required to, to have a great uh, success with your record. So with John B, and believe it or not, this, this will uh, blow some folks' mind, but uh, Destiny's Child and Jagged Edge on John B's tour, uh, Destiny's Child was the opening act. Uh, so John B, uh, again, everybody was knocking on my door uh, when I was the president of Music World Sanctuary Urban. And uh, John B, uh, you know, he came, he same, he wanted a record deal. Uh, I sat talk with him, I liked his style. Uh, he was different. And I love that. I love he had that R&B in him. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. What's next? I want to continue to do the things that I'm passionate about. You know, blush music I'm passionate about. Teaching at Texas Southern University. Uh, we have a ERM degree program for entertainment recording management. So I teach things like artist management, uh, intro to the recording in industry. I teach grad school. I teach media entrepreneurship. I'm passionate about that. That's what you continue to see me do. I'm writing my second book. It's called Racism from the Eyes of a Child. And it talks about those early years growing up in Gaston, Alabama, uh, all the way to adulthood and the impact racism has had on me. Uh, I'm passionate about that and I love doing that. I'll continue to be a public speaker and motivate and educate in the areas of entrepreneurship and music business. Who, dang, who?